Hello! Welcome to another, another episode of... Black! And Blue! And today we're talking about... Uh, FOMO! FOMO. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. you, you, you just taught me this. Yes, uh, I did! Acronym. I helped to become hip and with it! Uh, I, 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 I am definitely not hip and with it, uh, but Deaconess is. I mm -hmm. had no idea what FOMO stood for. Uh -huh. I had to Google it. Google is my friend. Mm -hmm. uh, and FOMO, what does that stand for, Deaconess? Fear of missing out. Fear of missing out. Mm -hmm. Oh, and, and by the way, this episode, it's called FOMO, mm -hmm. with a subtitle, no more. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. FOMO? FOMO? No more. FOMO? No more. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we're going to talk about how, uh, yeah, anyway. Well, I don't want to jump the gun. Uh, yeah, don't do that. Uh, not yet, not yet. We'll get to Jesus <laughs> eventually, right? Mm -hmm. Always mm -hmm. get to Jesus. Um, yep. First, FOMO. Mm -hmm. Fear of missing out. How, like, like give me some examples of what yeah. we're afraid of missing out on. Fear of missing out of relationships, of vacations, missing out on going to the right college, fear of missing the right scholarships needed for college, um, fear of just missing out on the happiness that, yeah. that you see around you. Can you think of other examples? Well, uh, fear of missing out. I mean, just, I, I mean, just on uh, just life in general. I mean, scrolling mm -hmm. through Facebook, I'm like, oh man, I'm missing out on so much. Uh -huh. And then I cry. <laughs> well, I gotta call the ambulance. Well, well. <laughs> okay, so that's you and me both with Facebook. Yeah, oh yeah, boy. Yeah, I have to, yeah, yeah I gotta limit, limit myself, you know. Wait, so Facebook is the FOMO factory. <gasps> FOMO factory. Oh, there, Facebook. there we go. Uh -huh. There we go. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, yeah, I mean, what, what, what FOMO uh, does for, for me is, yeah, it creates this uh, unease. Mm -hmm. There's anxiety, stress, mm -hmm. discontentment. Mm -hmm. unrest yeah you know mm -hmm. uh mm -hmm. so fomo is a disease that causes dis-ease <laughs> did i just do that i'm sorry mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh yeah. thanks be to god uh we we, we have a god uh, mm -hmm. jesus who comes to crucify fomo mm -hmm. uh to bury fomo in the black hole of his death mm -hmm. and uh, and we, we see that actually uh from the cross in the Gospel mm -hmm. of John, John chapter 19, there are these mm -hmm. three words that uh, that help us see Jesus crucify FOMO and put FOMO to death. Mm -hmm. uh, the first word. Mm -hmm. Woman, behold your son, behold your mother. Yeah, that's what uh, Jesus says to, to Mother Mary and to, and to John. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and there we see uh, Jesus, he families us. Mm -hmm. That is the first word. And all these words are going to begin with F, by the way. You know, we like alliteration. <laughs> I like, if you could already yeah, yeah, tell. Yeah. <laughs> Second word. Second word. I thirst. I thirst. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jesus, uh, he fills us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's the mm -hmm. second word. Uh, what is the, the, the final word? It is finished. Jesus, uh, he finishes. He completes us. He makes mm -hmm. us whole. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we're going to go through these. Uh, three F's together to see how Jesus crucifies FOMO. He families us, he fills us, and he finishes. He completes us, he makes us whole. Uh, so, you know, baseball is going on, uh, you know, very soon. Uh, three strikes and you're out. Uh, here it's a three words and you're in. <laughs> These yes. three words uh, get us in, right? Mm -hmm. Into uh, a family. Right. Mm -hmm. So uh, first word here, Jesus families us. Uh, Woman, behold your son, behold your mother. What's really fascinating is that in the Gospel of John, there are only two places where we see Mother Mary. Uh, in John chapter two, wedding at Cana. So uh, Jesus goes to a wedding because Jesus goes to parties. He likes to party. Yeah. So he goes to a wedding and Mother Mary uh, goes to uh, Jesus and says, hey, they have no more wine. And when the wedding wine runs dry the wedding party does cry <laughs> that was a big no-no in the ancient world running out of wine because you know they had like what seven day mm -hmm. wedding receptions Very and nice. uh, and so uh you know jesus says uh you know woman what does this have to do with me my hour has not yet come yet right mm -hmm. my my hour has not yet come uh that hour of course is the the golgotha uh calvary cross mm -hmm. hour and, uh, and Jesus, uh, you know, of course, he does turn water into wine. Mm -hmm. uh, the reason why I bring this up, the, these two places where we see Mother Mary, 
uh, is because really both have to do with the wedding. Obviously, the wedding Cana, a wedding, duh. I mean, thank you, Pastor Obvious, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, but Calvary is also a wedding. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Jesus crucified on the sixth day, Friday. Oh, I, I think I think uh, in Genesis uh, there was a, a wedding on the sixth day, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What did what did uh, what did uh, our Lord do to uh, to Papa Adam? He put him in a great sleep, and from his side came... A bride. Mm-hmm. From his side came a bride. Mm-hmm. And who was the bride? Eve. Eve. Yep, Mama Eve, mm -hmm. right? Uh, so uh, on the sixth day of creation, a wedding. Adam, mm -hmm. Eve, right? And, uh, and so uh, at the cross, uh, what John wants us to see is, is a wedding. To have that connection uh, with uh, Genesis uh, 1 and 2 and uh, the creation of Eve from the side of Adam, mm -hmm. uh, Jesus is the new Adam. Mm -hmm. And there on the cross uh, is his wedding day. It's your mm -hmm. wedding day, my wedding day, our wedding day. Because when Jesus dies, that new Adam, uh, what gets plunged into his side? A spear. A spear. And what flows? Blood and water. Yeah, blood okay. and water. Water and blood. Water that flows into the font, right? And that mm -hmm. water washes you into, uh, really, a family. Mm -hmm. You are the new Eve. I am the new Eve. She is the new Eve. The church is the new Eve. And so uh, that water in holy baptism washing us into the bride of Christ. And then, you know, uh, Jesus, he's a really good husband. He, mm -hmm. he actually feeds and takes care of his bride, uh, the church, the new Eve. Mm -hmm. And he does so with that blood that flows into the chalice. We get to uh, taste and see that he is good and that his mercy endures forever. And so what we see here with that first F is that Jesus families us. You're not alone. You're not alone. You are put in a relationship, a marriage with, with Christ, and uh, and you are part of the new Eve, the church. Uh, and she has many members. You're one mm -hmm. of them. I'm one mm -hmm. of them. She's one of them. Mm -hmm. And we have one another. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so the second F, so in this family, we're filled, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because Jesus says, I thirst, and, you know, he's thirsting on the cross for all of the times we're thirsting, where we're longing for friendship, love, um, fulfillment, uh, belonging, all of those feelings, our Lord Jesus knows, and he has them all on the cross. He has them so that he can, like Pastor said earlier, put them to death. And so that he can fill us with his body and his blood that flow from his side. So that he can fill us with his family, um, the church. Um, putting an end to all of that, that longing. Because he's basically going, I'm it. I'm here. And I'm God. So <laughs> my filling is the perfect life-giving filling. Everything else that you try to find to quench that thirst, mm -hmm. it's not going to, it's not going to work it's in the leave, end. Yeah, leave you thirsty. It's going to leave you thirsty. Yeah. Yep. 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 Even Gatorade. Gatorade. <laughs> You're still going to be thirsty. I still have to keep going to the store to buy more Gatorade. So there you go. <laughs> there, There's proof right there. Yeah. And then and the final, final right? one, yeah. again, another beautiful F. Jesus says, it is finished. Another way you can translate it is, it is complete. It is whole. Um, you know, so we get to be whole and complete in Jesus. Mm -hmm. I mean, our baptism tells us so. That's yeah. what happened. Jesus' cross has been placed on your forehead and on your heart in holy baptism. And so you are whole. You're complete. You lack nothing. Yeah. You're not going to miss out on anything because you have our Lord Jesus and his family, the church, here and now, today. And you have the promise of eternal life with him forever um, and the life in the world to come. So you have you have it all. You have Jesus, our, our good shepherd, so that we, you and I, and pastor, we lack nothing. We're complete. Mm -hmm. We're whole in Christ. Yeah, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. want. Mm -hmm. We don't need anything. Because we have it all in Jesus. In Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. And so we're not missing out on anything. Mm -hmm. We have an abundant life with mm -hmm. Jesus, right? Mm -hmm. We have yep. more forgiveness 
Then we have sin, more life. Then we have death, mm -hmm. uh, more health than we have sickness. More peace than we have anxiety exactly. and yeah. unrest. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. So we see with these three words, you know, Jesus family, mm -hmm. he, he, he families us, he, mm -hmm. he fills us, he, he finishes, he completes and he makes us whole. Mm -hmm. Right. And mm -hmm. so with these th three words, he's really, he really is crucifying, putting to death, FOMO, Woo! fear of missing out. Mm -hmm. No more. No more. Mm -hmm. No more. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so what a joy to see this guy come to us in the flesh and take all of our fears and mm -hmm. crucify them mm -hmm. at Calvary and bury them in the black hole of his death and rise mm -hmm. an Easter morning to say, FOMO? No more. No more. Because <laughs> we have a family. We're yes. filled. We're complete, whole, finished mm -hmm. in Jesus. Mm -hmm. How beautiful. It is. That's fantastic. Oh, <laughs> I like it. I like it. Oh, well, thanks so much, friends. By his wounds. We are healed. Un until next time. Until next time. FOMO. Bye. FOMO. No more. No more.